Hey guys, Dilair here, and today I'm going to talk to you about the best way to win in Warzone 3 Urzikstan. But first, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to stay notified, and like the video. Also, if you have any advice on how to dominate in Warzone, let me know in the comments below. First thing you're going to want to do is find the meta weapons, which are at the moment the following. Pause the video, screenshot the gun builds. Number one is the Polomot 762. Number two, the WSP Swarm. Number three, the Striker. Number four, the Cat AMR. Number five, the MTZ Interceptor. An honorable mention and still my personal favorite to put with the Cat AMR is the Bass B. Now that you have your guns, let's talk perks and tacticals. Perks, you need to have double time. It will allow you to evade gunfights you don't want to be in or to get ahead of people you're hunting. Sleight of hand, letting you reload 50% faster, getting you back into the fight faster. Tempered, reducing the amount of plates you use and saves you a bit of time by plating with two instead of three, getting you back into the fight faster or to save your teammate. Ghost, while moving, it keeps you off the UAV being very handy if you want to stay hidden from your prey and get the jump on them. Remember to keep moving, it does not work if you stand still. Instead of ghost, you could use high alert. If you don't care about being on the radar, it lets you know when someone aims at you, letting you either spin around and shoot first or to find the next turn to get out of sight to pick a better vantage point and to get the jump on them. Now for tacticals and lethals. Honestly, this one is all preference, but there are some more useful than others. For instance, I use flash or stuns to be able to slow down who I'm hunting or to disorient the people trying to kill me. You can also use smokes to get away from fights you know you won't win. Now for lethals. If you're good with a throwing knife, it's handy. Finishing down opponents in one shot. Also, instead of hitting people with your gun when you melee, you're going to stab the enemy dealing more damage. I personally use Semtex or frags to shield people hiding in corners, so I have an easier time jumping them and finishing that kill. Now it's time for gameplay. Remember to utilize the firing range while waiting to load in. Practice your aim a bit before the match, or do like I do and slide cancel from side to side, shooting the dummies, and essentially you're kind of refining your movement and shooting so you're not standing still and shooting. Remember, aim assist works better if you're moving side to side. Now you're in a match and placement is everything. The average player goes right in the middle of the circle, usually causing a bunch of deaths pretty quickly. Honestly, one of those deaths will probably be you. What you're going to want to do is go on the outskirts of the circle, do a scavenger or an intel to get some quick cash. Scavengers definitely work way better for money, but intels let you know where that next circle is, which can be pretty useful. Gather gear, get enough money for a loadout because the free one is always a risk. Waste your money to survive. You never know who's watching that loadout. You'll need an ammo box and an armor box, especially if you're fighting at a distance with a sniper. You may not be there to pick up more ammo, but arguably more important than ammo is the kill streaks. I'd recommend having one or two UAVs or, and one or two precision airstrikes. Motor strikes are completely useless, so I'd avoid using money on those. Precision airstrikes are good for getting people off the roof or confirming that kill you just downed. UAVs give you a sense of where everyone is. Make sure you have a gas mask and a self revive. By the time that you're done gathering all your equipment and gear, the circle is finally closing. By this time, you already have your equipment and weapons ready to go, and that first circle is closing. And you may be getting nervous, but don't remember it's a game and practice makes perfect. You're going to want to stand the outskirts, keeping the storm to your back. You'll know that nobody is there. You're going to ensure that no one flanks you. And once that storm's fully closed, you now will have the ability to focus on what's to the left, right, and in front of you. You can play this two ways, passive or aggressive. One is high risk, high reward. The other is not. Can you guess which is which? Let's talk passive first. What you're going to want to do is utilize rooftops and buildings. Avoid being seen as much as possible. Only engage when absolutely necessary. As the game gets to the second last circle, you're going to want to find the highest point in the zone with not many ways to get to you or to kill you. Use those UAVs, but try to keep one for final five or final 10 to know where everyone is. Once you see top five or top three, keep your ears open for easy kills. One will be downed or dead while the other one will be trying to shield up. It's an easy way to get a kill. But remember, if it's not final three, you risk being shot by one of the other people. So if you want to wait and be safe, wait till final three. One goes down, it's a 1v1, and he's already hurt or distracted by that person he just killed, giving you an easy way to finish the game. Now let's talk aggressive. You're going to do the same thing as passive, but instead of shying from fights, you're going to strategize the fights. You're going to frequently use and buy UAVs. And I mean, you're going to buy a lot of them. Once your UAV is up, locate that solo player or that solo team and just 
attack. You're going to want to find a proper vantage point to beat them. And the reason why you're picking these solo teams or these solo players away from everyone is because you don't want to be third partied. And by the time a third party actually sees what's going on, you're too far to even be third party, giving your team a proper way to relocate and possibly get the jump on that third party, uh, third partying team. Know where the redeploys are because it will let you escape a fight that you don't want to be in pretty quickly or it will help you get the jump on an unsuspecting player. Now, the smaller the circle, the harder it will be not to be third party, but you're going to want to keep taking people out one by one safely, or you can just avoid it. Once the second circle hits, you're going to want to find the high ground once again, just like in passive. Find the highest high ground with the highest survival rate. After a few matches, you'll kind of know which buildings and areas to avoid. When you hit final 10, you can either continue on the passive way if you decide not to kill too many people, or you can continue on your slaying journey. Remember, being seen fighting, leaves you exposed to the others. You're gonna to wanna to utilize those UAVs. Pop them and take out those solo players. Relocate often so the enemy never gets a lock on in your exact location. If you stop moving, they have a UAV, you will be seen if you have Ghost. Now you're at final five or less. Stuns UAVs will be your safety. Keep them stunned, it's an easy kill. If they have a self revive or a team, use those precision airstrikes to guarantee that kill. You can also use precision airstrikes to force people out of hiding possibly giving you a better shot at them. Now at this point, it's obvious. Don't suck at shooting. Know how to bunny hop, slide cancel, snake, whatever other movements you have in your arsenal. Use cover and finish those last players. Be smart, use your gas mask. You can use the gas mask to run into the storm to get ahead of the first rotation, being able to get a better pull on where people are gonna be coming from, getting easy kills. Or you can use it to get a better vantage point so you know you won't die as quickly. It will save you the hassle of running down and dodging bullets running through the middle trying to get to a another spot because most likely someone that was already on that outskirt will already have that vantage point. So you using the gas will probably get the jump on him, finishing him, claiming that, that dominant spot. Now that you have the basics to survive, this game is all about skill. Don't get me wrong, a little Timmy hiding with a sniper could easily end you. But if your movement is unpredictable, your chances get better. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like the video. It's been Dallaire. Later.